Recently, Sheldon Keefe, the former head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, opened up about his time leading one of the most demanding teams in the NHL. Now at the helm of the New Jersey Devils, Keefe shared his thoughts in an interview conducted by broadcaster Matt Laughlin on August 9. During the conversation, he didn't hesitate to speak about the intense pressure that comes with coaching an iconic team like the Leafs. There's nothing I haven't seen or experienced in Toronto, Keefe stated, referring to the high expectations that come with being in the spotlight. He mentioned that, in his experience, the challenges are immense and often overwhelming. This is a reality every coach in the Toronto market must face, and he made sure to emphasize the comparison with other places. In five seasons leading the Maple Leafs, Keefe achieved an impressive regular season record with 212 wins, 97 losses, and 40 ties. However, he acknowledged that the real difficulty lay in meeting the fans' expectations and the media pressure, especially when playoff results didn't live up to the high standard the fans expect. After all, who wouldn't want to see their beloved team win the coveted Stanley Cup? It's true that we didn't advance far enough in the playoffs, which contributed to our departure, Keefe commented. He recalled that even while leading the team through standout seasons, the inability to secure victories in the final stages weighed heavily. The fans and media in Toronto, with their eyes fixed on every move, turn each mistake into a public examination. This makes the journey to victory always accompanied by additional pressure. Keefe also highlighted the importance of staying true to one's values amid the emotional whirlwind that defines working in Toronto. The focus must be on the things that really matter and on what you can control, he emphasized. This wisdom, which he acquired over the years, is crucial for a coach who wishes to forge a successful path, especially in such a closely watched environment. After the painful elimination of the Leafs in the first round of the 2024 playoffs, Keefe was relieved of his duties but immediately found a new opportunity with the Devils. According to Greg Wyshynski of ESPN, he received a four-year contract, allowing him to begin a new chapter in his career. This transition opens a new chapter not only for Keefe but also promises to renew the hopes of Devils fans. What are your thoughts on Sidney Keefe's tenure with the Leafs? Do you think he could have made better use of the opportunity? The Toronto Maple Leafs haven't made any significant moves yet, but a trade proposal with the New York Islanders changes that. The site Puckpedia has a new tool called PuckGM that allows users to create their own trades, and a user proposed a deal that would see the Maple Leafs acquire Oliver Wallstrom in a straight swap. Maple Leafs receive, Oliver Wallstrom. Islanders receive, Nick Robertson. The direct trade makes sense as it is a change of scenery for two players seeking bigger roles. Wallstrom is a former first-round pick who hasn't lived up to expectations, while Robertson is a restricted free agent who requested a trade, the two could simply take each other's place on the roster. Wallstrom was selected 11th overall in the 2018 NHL draft and signed a one-year contract worth $1 million with the Islanders this offseason. In his NHL career, Wallstrom has participated in 193 games, registering 34 goals and 33 assists, totaling 67 points. Robertson, on the other hand, was drafted in the second round of the 2020 NHL draft but didn't receive a significant role in Toronto. As a result, the RFA forward requested a trade, as he has only participated in 87 NHL games, scoring 17 goals and 17 assists, totaling 34 points. Robertson requests trade from the Maple Leafs, the 22-year-old is a restricted free agent and does not have a contract for the upcoming season, as he has requested a trade and informed the Maple Leafs that he has no plans to re-sign, according to NHL insider Chris Johnston. Despite the trade request, Maple Leafs general manager Brad Treliving stated that he expects Robertson to be a key player for Toronto this season. I certainly know there has been some frustration with Nick, but we see him as a great player, Trey Living said. There's a big opportunity for Nick here. We need him to be a good player for us. I'm not going to get into speculation or public finger pointing. Let's put that aside and keep moving forward. If Robertson re-signs with the Maple Leafs, he is projected to be the left winger on the team's second or third line. Wallstrom as a trade candidate, despite signing a one-year extension with the Islanders, the former first-round pick is considered a trade target. Islanders general manager Lou Lamoriello said that the team will not simply trade him for nothing, as they need to receive something in return. He's worked very hard throughout the summer, and if we can give him an opportunity, because it didn't work out, before, we'll do that, but we're not just going to give him away, Lamoriello said. He's still a hockey player. 
Unfortunately, he went through an injury that takes time to recover from. I believe he's ready. We'll just have to wait and see. Sheldon Keefe's recent interview offers a fascinating perspective on the complexities of being the head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, one of the NHL's most iconic franchises. The pressures he faced in Toronto and his transition to the New Jersey Devils bring to light important questions about how athletes and coaches deal with expectations and challenges in such a demanding market. What lessons do you think other teams can learn from Keefe's experience? Additionally, the trade proposal involving Oliver Wallstrom and Nick Robertson is sparking lively discussions among fans. What do you think about this trade? Do you believe it would be a good move for both teams? If you're eager to follow more updates from the hockey world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Be sure to like this video and leave your comment below. We want to hear your opinion.